other cool tools you might need for this hobby. So I always like starting out by getting my arsenal of stuff. Uh, and I always am kind of lost with what to buy for the arsenal of stuff. So this is going to be, you know, these are things that I use all the time that are useful. Pair of cutters. Now, let me tell you how to get a pair of cutters that look kind of like this. And let me tell you that these are the ones to get. If you go to a local hardware store and say, you need small cutters, you're not going to find them. You're going to find these big, huge cutters. If you find the area of your wilderness that contains people that are called scrapbookers, all right, scrapbookers have an incredible amount of tools. You wouldn't believe it, but uh, yeah, they, they do. And they're hid out in aisles of paper and stickers. Now, they are a scary bunch. There's no doubt about it. They will shiv you with a granny needle any day of the week because you are young and they are not young. But if you work your way past them without getting shivved with a granny needle, you can find their cutters. Okay. Also, in your beauty and health place um, area where they sell makeup and stuff like that, you're going to find toenail cutters that look kind of like this. I don't know who has toenails that thick that they have to have the said toenail cutters like that but they work really well for this hobby also there's a there's two different variations of hardware store there's the mom and pa hardware store the ace hardware I, I call it ace hardware is amazing okay so abandoned Lowe's, abandoned home depot and all those other places where the commoner shops find your mom and pa Ace Hardware and start shopping. So here's a pair of cutters. These are very helpful too. And that's where I found those. All right, uh, another couple tools that might come in handy. If you can find some, <laughs> these are ancient as all get up. I think these were my dad's, uh, to be honest with you. Before he passed on, I took on took on this tool collection and those are a pair of really old pliers but they come in handy and if you can't find them um, you can find hemostat somewhere okay and the reason I like these is because you could twirl wire around them and make coils and all kinds of cool stuff now another thing that you might experience is getting wire okay when you shop for wire you're looking for wire that fits inside the breadboard these are a good start okay these come in some of the starter packs but when you come down to organization you're gonna want something like this a spool of 22 gauge wire okay in as many colors as you can find I've only found three colors in the natural universe of things and uh, the only place I can find 22 gauge wire I, sh I should make you hunt around for it for Lowe's and Home Depot because that's funny. Go in and ask for 22 gauge wire at any hardware store and they will look at you quite strange. Adafruit has this. If you shop for wire, shop there. There we go. 22 gauge wire, $2.50 a roll. Good stuff. Their little pack of goodies is good too. But let me show you which ones you're going to need out of the pack of goodies in case you're poor. What would be nice is having this multimeter. You're going to be using that quite often. Get the kind that beeps. So if you cut, touch the two terminals together, it beeps. And it shows you that there is a short in that area. Uh, that's very helpful. You might want to get a soldering iron. Not necessary just yet, but um, I like a 30 watt soldering iron myself. And if you're getting into the hardcore electronics, you know, you get into 20, 25 watt. Uh, so you can not cook your ICs. Okay, spool wire, multimeter mentioned. I think that's about it. Uh, those are all the tools that I use right now. And, of course, I'm going to remember a couple other tools later on as I go through the series. But those will get you started. First, concentrate on your microcontroller, your Arduino unit. 
get some uh, 22 gauge wire get that straight off and get your pair of cutters good stuff also the wire that comes for hooking up like oh, what is it? doorbells might be 22 gauge or thermostats so those are a couple of different areas you could look for that type of wire in your local hardware store other than that that's it for good tools to get enjoy